Hey guys, welcome back to my video. It's your girl Shell, and I'm coming to you with another haul video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a haul on Glam and Glitz, Amazon, and eBay. So sit back, relax, and let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off with um, is going to be my Amazon order. So, I got this Beatles gel brush, um, nail art brush set. Go ahead and open it up for you guys. Okay, so it comes with five brushes. They have the little glitter well that's not glitter but little stones in the bottom of it um, go ahead and open it up okay, okay so the first one take the top off you see that I'm gonna focus I mean um zoom it in so you guys can see it That's that brush. And then the second one is a longer striper brush. Go ahead and focus. Okay. They seem to be pretty thin so far. The bristles. And this one is a little shorter. I'm trying to get through this video as quick as possible because I got a lot of stuff in this box. And then that's another size. I'm sorry, it won't focus. There you go. Okay. And this is the last one. And that's that. And like I said, they have the little crystals at the bottom of it. These are so pretty too. I've been needing some more brushes, so I found these on Amazon. Okay, so moving right along. I bought this uh, Beatles Matte Top Coat. Now, I've never tried this brand before, but I've been seeing a lot of videos on it, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, and that's the bottle. It's um, 0.25 fluid ounces. See right there. Okay. Next up, I bought these um, empty nail polish bottles because I plan on making my own alcohol inks. So these are those. I forget how many come in the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's ten of them. So they got the cap and got the brush down there. So yeah, I'm going to be doing my own um, alcohol ink. So I'll do a video on that. It's a bunch of them out there, but you know, what the heck. Go ahead and create a video for it. Now, originally I bought these for that it's another set but they were actually smaller than what I thought they were they're quite small I don't want to take them out but hopefully you guys can see how small they are I'm gonna zoom back out let's see if that helps so I think what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to use these for um cuticle oil and I'll probably create a little package for my clients or so give them away free I haven't decided yet but I believe these have 25 in them so there's 20 in this pack and then they come with 
the little funnels. You get two funnels. And then you get the beads to go at the bottom of it. I'm sorry about all the crinkling. Okay. The next up from Amazon. All this is still from Amazon. I bought a pack of the cuticle pins. So I also make these and um, sell them to my clients. And I believe you get 30 in a pack of these. Then I bought a pack of swatch sticks. These are the stiletto kind. I'm going to open it. So it's those. And I forget how many it is. I believe it's like a 190. No. I don't remember because I bought these a while back. And like I said, I've just been collecting stuff and sitting it to the side. But I forget how many comes in the pack. But um, if you guys want to know don't have any questions on any of the stuff that I'm showing just leave me a comment at the bottom and I'll try to um, answer it and find the link to it if I can if it's still on the website because you know sometimes the sellers discontinue stuff or it goes out of stock so then I bought these um, sharpies of course like I said in um, earlier on that I plan on making my own alcohol inks so I bought a pack of sharpies for that Then, I also have these brushes. Now, this pack I've already opened and used already, but I have bought two packs. So, this is the other pack. This is a full pack. I haven't opened this one and used any out of here. So, they come with three, six, nine, ten brushes. And the ones that I've used so far, I actually kind of like them. They're pretty good. So I believe it's this one that I used already. And then this square one right here. So I've been using those for, um, I have those little gel in the pots. So I've been using those brushes. And I dedicated one for just regular color and then the other brush for glitter. So I won't, you know, cross-contaminate my jars. Okay. Then I was running out of lint-free wipes. So, I ordered these uh, Expert Touch by OPI. I have used this brand before. I ran out and I tried another brand from a beauty supply. And I don't really care for those. So, I saw these online. And you get three boxes. So, there's three right there. Then it also came with a pump. You know, you could put your acetone or um, polish removal or alcohol. So, it came like that. Then it also came with a free cuticle pusher. And that's the cuticle pusher right there. Um, like I said, I don't remember how much I paid for any of this because it's been sitting for a while. But if you guys got any questions on any of it, I'll be more than happy to get the prices for you. Get a link if I can. Okay. Now, I bought these right here. I've already opened and used these. So I bought these little tags because I was trying to figure out a way to store my, um, my foils. And I saw a video uh, with the YouTuber uh, by the name of... Uh, is it Nails by Reese? I believe. Don't quote me. I could be wrong, but uh, I'll try to find her um, her um, link to her video, and I'll put it in the description box. And she actually saw it off somebody else's, but I got the idea from her, and she got it from somebody else. And you pretty much just wrap the foils around here and then put a paper clip on them. So I've actually already started doing that because I had so many, so many foils, and they were just getting... Um, ridiculous with trying to store them so this way right now so far i kind of like it um and i've bought like several packs of these already so 
these are the other two i've already used the tags out of i believe you get 100 tags and it just came with this yarn i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but you know i'm gonna hold on to it because you never know it might come in handy so that's that then let's see i'm trying to keep all the amazon stuff together before i move on to any other so okay so then i bought these um straight edge nail clippers i've already opened this because i wanted to try and make sure that they were sturdy and they made by tweezer man which is a good brand so let me see that let me zoom in yeah that's those and they are stainless steel and these are actually five dollars um each i do remember that because i actually plan on buying some more i just wanted to get a couple first to see if they were going to be sturdy and true to what i needed to do um and they are so i'm going to order some more of these okay that over to the side moving right along okay so i bought a bunch of the beetles gel polish so i have like two three four five six so i got six boxes so far and each box comes with two four six. i think it's eight in a box if i'm not mistaken let me open it up and see no, it comes with six. I'm sorry. It comes with six polishes in a bottle. And the the um bottles are not your normal 15 mLs. They're actually smaller. So they're 25. I don't know that glare is kind of hard to see. But I'm gonna do a swatch video on these and show you what all the colors are. Seven five. I mean point twenty five fluid ounces. Seven point three mL. So like I said, normally your average bottle is about fifteen mLs. So these are kind of small, but um they're bigger than those tinier ones that's like five mLs. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video and show you all the colors that I have. I'm not gonna do it in this video because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but I will come back and I'll do a video dedicated just to the colors that I have. And also, I'm going to do a swatch on those. So, go ahead and move these out the way. Actually, I'll move this open that way. Okay. Now, the next thing I have is a couple things that I got off of ebay and oh i'm sorry you know what no this is from amazon i got this from amazon as well so it's just a um a pack of um crystals they almost look like those um pixie crystals and you get your clear your ab i want to say this is like a gunmetal gray color and then you have your like champagne gold. So those are those. They're so pretty too. You don't get a lot, but you know, you don't really do a whole full set of nails with this. You usually just do accent nails. So it'll be enough for what I needed to do. And I've actually ordered some more from AliExpress. So I'll be getting some more of these in. But yeah, so that's from Amazon as well. Then, one more thing, actually. So, I bought a box of these. I'm not going to put the box up here because this box is huge and you'll never be able to see it on this table. But they're um, dental um, napkins, you know, the uh, dental bibs that the dentist use. And I'm going to use these for... Uh, my table towel instead of using my Viva um, towels um, 
to put over my towel when I'm doing nails. I'm going to use this because they um, soak up because they have that plastic backing on the back. Uh, this is not even open all the way. Let me open it full. Okay, so it's quite big. It's enough to cover the table and do what I need it to do. And then, like I said, it has that plastic backing right here. So you don't have to worry about it seeping through and running your table if you don't have anything down up under it. I normally buy the table towels, but these were actually so much cheaper than buying the actual table towels. Because normally my table towels would cost me about, I don't know, about $10. And you only get like 50 in a pack. Maybe 100 depending on which brand you buy. Um, the ones with the plastic backing on it, you normally only get 50 of those. I think it's the other ones without the plastic backing, you get 100. But for the price that I paid for this, was like it was between 23 and $26. And I got a whole box of 500 500 So I was like, oh, no, I would never be buying table towels because this pretty much does the same job i mean i'm still gonna have a, a towel up under this when i'm doing my clients so just in case i spill monomer or acetone or anything like that i don't have to worry about it ruining my table even if it does leak through this but it shouldn't because like i said it has that plastic backing but yeah um you get more for your money you know so this should last me for a while and they come folded like this um and it's just in the box they didn't package them which I wish they had of, but they didn't. So, like, they come literally just like this in a box of 500. And I got that from Amazon, too. So, now that's everything that I got from Amazon. So, moving right along, I'm going to show you what I got from eBay. So, I got two brushes that I bought off eBay. They're acrylic brushes. Um, they're supposed to be 100% Kalinsky, but we'll see when I use them. And they made by CADS. So I have one in a size 10 and one in a size 12. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see. And they are pinched. As you can see, they are pinched. And this is the size 10 brush. And what I'm going to do is, it's a little trick. If you guys ever have those wooden um, handles and, you know, the acetone and stuff eats through that, get you some gel polish, some clear coat, um, clear top coat, brush it. You don't have to brush it all the way down the brush, but cover it enough. Sit it in a light and that will help with the acetone and, um, Anything that would kind of, you know, eat at the, the wood on it. Because, you know, acetone doesn't eat through the top coat. You have to literally file that off when you're doing nails. So, just a little trick that I learned. Now, I don't say I do it on all my brushes because I'll be lying. But I do do it with my, uh, my acrylic brush. And this one is a little bigger. That's the 12. Like I said, that's pinched too. So, I think it's a good idea to have different size brushes. Um, my personal preference. Um, you know, everybody to each his own. Because you have people with smaller fingers. You don't want to be using a size 14 or 16 brush. I mean, if you can, hey, you know, kudos to you. But me personally, I just rather use a smaller brush. I don't have to worry about picking up too much liquid and and keep it moving. Uh, okay, so that was from Amazon. Now, there's a young lady on YouTube called Mesa Glitter. Uh, I believe that's her name. Um, she does glitter bundles. And she also has an Etsy store. Now, I purchased this off her Etsy store. And... And they're, they're the little starburst. And this one has that blue to purple kind of shift to it and gold. And then this one is a darker purple shift. These are so pretty. Let me see if 
I can zoom in so you can get a better look. Okay, there you go. So, you can see it has that purple blue. And then this one, it gives you like that winter vibe, that icy look. And then they have different sizes in there. So yeah, that was that. And then she gave me a free gift. And these are Chanel. They have, looks like pink, white, black, silver, red, and blue in there. Okay, so that's that. Now, the last thing I got is from Glam and Glitz. So like I said in my last video, if anybody watched it, that's on here now. Um, I'm trying to get to the point where I'm stocking up and buying things in bulk. So that will limit how much I'm ordering. And also, you know, the larger sizes of um, like clear um, powders and acrylic powders and monitor and stuff like that. You save more when you buy in larger quantities. But I know sometimes, you know, you might not necessarily have that amount of money to get it at that time. So if you can... I suggest that's always the route to go because it will save you in the long run. Constantly buying smaller bottles and you find yourself constantly ordering. And in the long run, you'll end up spending more money doing it that way. So I went on and I bought this um, 20 ounce of clear. Like I said, it's from Glam and Glitz. I'm going to zoom out so you get a better look at it. So that's that. 590 grams. I call it back to basics. Okay. And then I bought the monomer in a size gallon. And that's that. And it's huge. So, but yeah, one gallon. And this thing is huge, huge. So, and that's the first time I actually ever bought anything in a gallon size um, with my monomer. But this should last me for a little while. Um, I've used a monomer before. I've never tried the clear Glam and Glitz powder, but I do have um, some of the other products, and I don't have a problem with it. I actually kind of like the consistency, so... Um, I decided let me go ahead and just grab a big tub of the clear because I want to be able to mix my colors and make some um, um, color acrylics as well as some um, glitter acrylics. So I wanted a, a larger container so I won't find myself using up my smaller jar so quick. And then what I'll do with that is I'll just dump these, um, dump some of this inside of a smaller jar. So I won't have to have this big old thing just sitting now. It can just get put up. And yeah, that's about it. Um, that's everything that I got. Um, like I said, if you guys got any questions and you want to know any prices or any of the things that I bought, where um, if I can find a link to anything that you need, just hit me up in the comments down below. And I'll do my best to get those to you. And, and as always, thank you for taking this time to sit here with your girl, Shell. And... Um, watch another haul video. Um, you guys stay safe during this pandemic. And hopefully sometime soon we'll be able to get to some type of normalcy. Um, but until then, you guys be safe. Be blessed. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.